Hey guys, welcome. I'm the Slappy One. Today we're playing Valheim, and we're gonna be doing a let's play for Valheim, guys. Um, it's a new game by Coffee Stain Studios, the creators of Satisfactory. Uh, essentially, you're gonna be starting in the world of the dead uh, underneath the world tree of Yggdrasil. Uh, so if you know Greek mythology uh, and all that, so I have another character I'm playing, but he's already got some work done. So we're gonna start a fresh character. I've called him Slappy. Uh, and then we're gonna be going to the world. I've called it YouTube. And if you guys wanted the seat, uh, seed, there it is. Also put the seed down in the descriptions if you guys want to come play along and tell me some interesting things you find along the way. But without further ado, guys, we're gonna get this started. I am not making this a server. I'm not gonna do anything like that. Um, you can make it up to 10 players on a community server hosted locally. So if you want to play with your friends, absolutely you can. Uh, the game is out now on Steam. It's sitting at about 20 bucks or so for purchase. So very, very well worth it, in in my honest opinion. You're definitely getting a lot more than what you pay for with this game. Um, graphics aren't all that great, but... Realistically, I think the gameplay is going to outshine the graphics. I think the graphics are going to improve along a lot. So you always are going to start with this intro. Uh, first time you play, uh, you guys can read it here. Basically put... It's talking about Odin, how he united the worlds, threw them down. Um, and he found, and he's looking to find the greatest of warriors that are dead to the world, that they would be bored again in Valheim, which is the world we're going to go play in. So long story short, we start with nothing. We have to survive. We have to thrive and become a great warrior for Odin, essentially. There's a lot of different creatures you can kill and all that. This is our companion bird. I can't remember his name, but you'll see it here in a little bit. He's going to be helping us as a tutorial along the way. Um, he's a very wise bird, so you definitely want to make sure that uh, you pay attention to what he has to say, because his insights will definitely help you, especially if you're newer to survival games uh, and haven't done too many of them. This is definitely a, a great resource to have, uh, this bird. But essentially, he's flying us in, coming in left base, and getting ready to set up for approach. Thankfully, the seeds are random gen, um, so each seed is a little bit different in each way. Uh, you have various zones, various regions, and they each can produce their own various resources. So, it's pretty cool to see. So, you're going to drop off here. Hail Warrior. Uh, Huyen, or Hugan. Uh, Center Graduate Travels, the Megalith running of Sacrificial Stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. So, each of these guys are bosses that we have to go kill and do things. So, oh, hello. We've already got a Grayling. But you can do, you have various skills. So, like, fighting. I'm punching this guy. I'm punching this guy. Oh, now there's boar over there. I want to stay away from them. Give me the resin. All right. So, that gave me a rag tunic, which I can unequip. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to equip that. Uh, or you can unequip it. It's basically armor. Talk to Hewan again. Magical stones were scattered throughout the land. A signpost pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of uh, uh, Ikthir, your first prey. He's a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. We're going to register this location. His summoning place is right there, which means I need to get ready to set up a base in this general area. These big summoning stones, you can read them if you want. Um, but... Yeah, that's basically where you have to bring everything. So this is kind of ground zero. All right, Hugin's up again. Let's talk to him. Most items can be crafted. However, due to the recent departure from Midgard, you have to recall, or you will have to recall the shape of objects. Um, he tells us that you can get wood and stone to start your path, which, I mean, is, is typical of any survival. Start with wood, start with stone. Uh, and then go from there. The things like these branches right here, you can press E and pick them up. And as soon as you pick up the resource, you start to know the uh, know the know the stuff. So that's not bad. And then smaller stones like these that aren't really moss covered, you can pick them up. Which means I, if I can get enough wood, I need to look for more branches here in the woods. You think I would find a few more? There we go. Third branch gives me the ability to craft a hammer. Uh, which allows me to do things. I'm actually going to save for the stone axe because that helps me get it faster. So I need another stone and another piece of wood. Um, which, ironically enough, should not be too hard to find. Oh, hi, Grayling. Yep, 
get him taken care of and yoink he gave me some resin i'm okay with this thankfully graylings don't do much they're more like just little blue pinatas you do want to find stuff along the way so you want to pick up mushrooms you want to pick up um raspberries you want to pick up all kinds of things oh hugan what you got burn a stack consume it to improve your health and stamina yeah so it's talking about food talking about food Yep, all right, that gives me stone, which means... Oh, I'm still missing one stone, one wood. That is okay. Um, So we got to go find all the lovely things, and typically you would think it's going to be a little bit easier, but no, the game actually makes you work. Hey, look, mushroom. Um, So mushrooms, raspberries, all these are snackables. So I'm going to put mushrooms up there on the number eight bar. Uh, inventory you press by uh, get into by tab. You can see what you're carrying. Uh, wooden stone stacks of 50, which is great. Which, I mean, this guy is pretty beefy, so... I don't know, maybe I could believe carrying 50. Grab dandelions, grab that. I have yet to find use for dandelions, but I'm sure they're there. Uh, the trees eventually you'll be able to cut. If I can find one more stone, I'll actually be able to cut them because I'll have that stone axe. That's the big thing that I need to be able to do so. Uh, you can also find various structures uh, that are out here. Um, oh, hey, look, there's a boar. I want to stay away from that. Uh, you can also find various structures that may have some chests and looting in them. Uh, also really good for, like, day one structures or, you know, just kind of starting off your settlement structures. All right, so we have enough for the stone axe. I'm going to craft it. Uh, torch is going to go there. That's going to go there. Beautiful. Uh, now, unfortunately, you cannot hit the big uh, the big rocks yet. Uh, that's away from you. But things like your logs, absolutely, you can do that. Hey, look, my skills improve by in wood cutting. So it means the more I chop, the more I get. And that gave me a good chunk of uh, wood, actually. So that's what we really want. Now I just have to go scurry around and find stones. Oh, I find raspberries. I'll take that. There's a grayling. Good news is I can use my stone axe to fend him off. He is no match for me. Uh, realistically, if I want to, I can also craft a club. I've got plenty of wood, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, now, in order to unequip, you can't scroll. That's your zoom. But you can press the number uh on the on the number bar you get to where you need to go um all right so finding stone in this particular seed is a little bit more difficult there's one and once i've once i can make my hammer which is now that allows me to be able to do buildings um so you right click to access your menu the first thing you need to build is a workbench which means i need to get wood i need particularly 10 wood so, in order to do that, and I see the mushrooms over, or the raspberries over there, I'll get them for food. Um, and you can notice your food and health bar down at the bottom. Uh, particularly the bottom left, so you do want to pay attention to it. You will get notification if you're a little bit low on food, though, so you will get notified about that. Hey, I got beach seeds, and I got another grayling coming up. Oh, stop running. Oh, you brought a friend. No, you're not running away. Slap. It poofed away. I'll take resin. They can occasionally give some good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and eat a raspberry. And I'm going to go ahead and eat a mushroom. To give me that extra food. Chop down this log to get more. But you guys get the general gist of this game. Um, it is pretty intricate and in that as you get more materials, you got to do things. So we do have to find flint um, in order to be able to create and do more things. Uh, flint is commonly found more in riverbeds. So once I get my settlement up and running, I will need to go find um, a good source of water or uh, which will lead me to flint. Uh, with this tool, you raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. Uh, this in turn will enable you co to construct other things. It's exactly right. So with the workbench, we can make more. I don't want to yet, though. Be truthfully honest. 
I want, ideally, to find a running river. If I can find that running river, I will find my water source, which means I can find my flint. Um, and I can kind of go from there. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. My stamina has run out again, which, I mean, that's fine. Pick up the wood, pick up the stone. Anytime you see stone early, you definitely want to make sure you're picking it up because you don't have anything that will harvest stone, at least in the early game. Um, so picking up those small stones that you see around is going to be critical. All right, so I see water coming up. That's perfect. Which means that I should be able to find flint in this relative area. Uh, in fact, there it is. Kill these nicks. And they will give me... Oh, these didn't give me anything. In particular, they can give you some meat. Oh, necktail. There we go. I'm not really here for them, though. I'm here for the flint. The, be careful, though. The neck will fight back, so you got to be careful with them. But more tails. Um, all right, flint is a good thing, but we now that we've got our flint and we've got a good area, this actually looks perfect for us to start getting into a base. And in particular, I want to go... Actually, I'm going to stay on this side of the, the lake. Stone, flint, flint. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I hear something growling at me somewhere. Oh, it's one of the necks over there. All right. I like this area because it's got a lot of wood, which means I'd want to go ahead and build here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place my workbench, which means I get a whole bunch of new crafting recipes. We're going to talk to Hugan. Workbench allows more complex items. Uh, access to lots of building pieces, which means I can start building my building from the hammer. So you go to the building, you have building, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I can start setting up foundations. And thankfully they do have a snap feature, but they do require a bit of wood. Um, and that's perfect why I'm here, because guess what? I can use my axe to start harvesting wood. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to harvest some wood, and I'm going to be right back once I have built my initial shelter, and I'm going to move the workbench into it, and we'll pick up from there. All right, guys, welcome back, and we have been able to cut down a bunch of trees. We have been able to, uh, as you see, I got a couple leaning over there that I need to chop down. Uh, we've been able to go ahead and get our house. Now, the trick to the house is you cannot use the workbench unless everything is... Uh, in place and there's a roof over it um, so that's what you got to make sure of now the good news is we have plenty of roof I got a lot of wood did a lot of uh, grinding on it uh, I also used that flint we got earlier and I made myself a flint axe which is actually an upgrade so I'm gonna take this out because I've actually not used this yet um, actually we're gonna go over here and we're gonna beat this guy down real quick say goodbye and we're gonna chop down this log so it's actually doing a lot more damage to the uh, log, which means quicker harvesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, so we've upgraded from wood pickaxes to Minecraft equivalent stone pickaxes, guys. Um, so GG's to that. Uh, grabbing more flint. Thankfully, there's that. Uh, the neck tails that I've been picking up from these guys also can be used to uh, cook as food and snack. Um, so as soon as I can get a uh, campfire up and running, we're going to do so. I'm going to grab the flint. Next thing I got to do is get stone. Now, the kicker with stone, you still can't harvest the bigger rocks. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, we just got to run around and go find them. But regardless, the big thing is you want to make sure you're near water. 
That way you have structures and all that you can build. Um, I also made myself a hoe. Uh, and in the next video, I'm actually going to explain how a hoe works. I'm not going to go into it on this film. Um, so I'm going to finish up everything here. Then we'll go. Oh, there was uh, something. But look, we got a chest. I have coins and I have stuff. We're going to take all. Oh, that's why there's a beehive up there. Um, so I can actually use that later to get me uh, stuff. But I'm going to use that lovely little uh, flint axe. And I'm just going to cut my way out. But bees, be careful of bees because they do hurt. Eat me a raspberry and eat me a mushroom. Look at this, guys. One hits, one hits. Freaking Grayling, man. Grayling goes down. Sweet. All right, folks, so we have what we need. So obviously you want to find structures because they're going to have chests. You want to make yourself uh, a little bit of water settlement. You're going to get flint. Flint is good. Flint also gives you upgrades uh, for other things, and that is incredibly, incredibly needed. Um, flint is also going to be necessary for, I believe... Hang on, I get out of the water. If you're in the water, you can't uh, eat. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a shifting wave. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, I didn't notice that before. But I need it to get a chopping block, and that is a workbench improvement. Um, so actually, the last thing I'm going to do, we're going to run back to the house, and we're going to go ahead and do that. Run back up here. Um, I did also go ahead and craft a bed. The deer's telling me where they're at. They're crying. But I did also go ahead and make a bed, and I said as my spawn point, you just simply need uh, need a few things. So it needs a nearby thing. All right, so we're going to make a chopping block, which is going to go right there uh, inside. And then I also need to make a... I should make a craft uh, campfire, but I don't have enough stone. Um, so instead, I'm going to make a standing torch... To go right back there and then i'm gonna put i'm gonna go ahead and fill it with two uh resin because i've got plenty of those uh next up i've also got a couple of chests where i'm gonna drop this resin in uh, and i'm gonna drop this wood in that brings me up to a 50 stack which is good i'm gonna drop my flint i did get amber which is really nice and i'm gonna i'm gonna save the coins for this particular chest um i don't know yet what coins are good for but Amber is apparently something valuable, and I want to keep that. I also have extra equipment in the event of the worst happening. Alright, so I have a chopping block upgrade, meaning my workbench is now a tier 2 workbench, which is great. Um, now what we can do is, with the right items, we can go ahead and start upgrading our equipment, which I'm going to start covering that in the next film. Uh, so guys, that is all for... Our first episode, we have home, we have upgraded workbench, we have food incoming. Just got to, uh, just got to get me some stones to get a campfire, but all in all, we're going to be good. I'm going to get some grinding on the stones, go running around finding them, and I'll see you guys for episode two.